Kim Moore. Jim Clark is the research director at eConsultancy and joins us. Hey, Jim, great to have you in the studio. Look, Thanks I know I said you. in about 30, 30 minutes' time, but I'm going to say, go on, use the crystal ball. Glaze, what, what, what do you think the French courts are going to say? Well, taking out my crystal ball, you know, there has been talk about that five-year prison sentence. I don't think that's likely. Uh, I think at most we're looking at a fine for Uber. Uh, I've heard talk of million to million and a half euros. And then maybe the executives in question being banned from managing companies in France. So, I mean, this, is, this isn't too much of an obstacle for a billion-dollar company. Yeah, a $66 billion company, indeed. <laughs> so maybe just a small bump in the road for, for uh, Uber's between, path, yeah. if you will. Can I ask you this, though? Because it was only last week uh, we heard from the European Commission basically saying to the 28 or nine nowadays, but 28 European countries, don't stifle, don't stimmy these kind of businesses. He, and the European Commission was referring to the Ubers, to the Airbnbs, things like that, because they said, look, these, these sort of companies, these, these, this industry is good for your economies, right? Yeah, things are really looking up from a regulatory perspective, and it's actually the case that Uber is now petitioning the EU for their treatment in France, Spain and Germany. So going forward, you know, the temperature is very much warming up, and it's a lot different from the way it was back in 2015. So if this, if this court case, this verdict, even if it is a, a small fine, a small fine for Uber, that is, you know, in the millions or, or low millions, um, will that have any impact on the IPO? Because uh, for the uninitiated, this is Uber wanting to go public, sell shares, go on to Wall Street, if you will, like list on Wall Street, because um, it's been talked about for such a long time. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been a slow motion IPO. They've got <laughs> $14 billion of uh, venture capital, capital and private equity investment. I think... Perhaps the biggest uh, worry really for Uber is the challenge, not just from France actually, but the challenge from China and India. Mm -hmm. Because it's facing a lot of uh, competition in China and is reportedly losing a, a billion dollars a year. So it's attracting investment and will attract attention at IPO if it continues to portray its success in expanding. Yeah, so and, and just for people who, again, perhaps don't follow this, uh, that there is a competitor, if you will, right, an Uber, a Chinese Uber, uh, and, and you and I, both of you and I can't pronounce the name of it, oh, but yeah. it's doing very well, apparently. Very heavily subsidised and beating Uber every time, yeah. But at the end of the day, and you and I have spoken about this, I mean, these kind of, the, the sharing economy, this is just, this is part and parcel of our future, right, no matter where, and no matter what country, I mean, Uber's expanding into, where's it opening up, uh, into it, Africa. You, Uganda, and it's also expanding to Nigeria and Kenya, mm. so it's... It's, it's expanding at a pace. No stopping it. In, no in that stopping. sense, right? No stopping Uber. Absolutely. Jim Clark, always a pleasure. I know you're, we're going to keep across that verdict as you, and I'm sure we'll talk to you again soon sometime. Thank Great you, mate. Thanks. I appreciate it.